Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel and today I have another midweek mashup for you which means that I'm going to try to get through three different subscription boxes all sent to me for review all within the course of about 20 to 22 minutes which means we will be going pretty quick but I will leave timestamps for you in the description box below and I will also try to leave any referral or discount codes that I have if I have them. Let's get started today with Country Wix. So this is a lovely can or wax melt subscription. I think it is a really great idea because it's nice sometimes to be able to switch between those two formats for your fragrance. You get exclusive fragrances that are only for subscribers in this subscription, as well as access to their secret hutch where you can get more of those exclusive scents and all kinds of great deals. So the box itself, you guys, is just $25 per month. And and then the shipping is $7, which I think is really reasonable for a giant eight ounce mason jar candle or two wax melts. Again, you can choose which of those you'd rather have. She also includes fun other extras like a recipe, for example. This one says, discover the refreshing calmness that awaits you on the road less traveled. So really, conscious in terms of the theming as well as the presentation. There's also always a free bonus gift as well as your candle or wax melts. So each month you get an exclusive scent in an eight ounce mason jar, two wax melts, and a surprise item. The scents are custom blended and hand poured by Country Wicks to bring the soothing peacefulness of country living to your home. Each box is valued at 40 to $60 and subscribers, like I said, get access to that secret hutch, which is a subscriber only area of the online store um, to repurchase the monthly sense or or and or uh, get limited edition scents at 20% off the regular price so you can stock up on your favorite scents. I was just going to see what the yummy recipe is. I was going to see if I could pull that up on my QR code on my phone real quick. Ooh, goes with everything side salad. That sounds delicious. So some fun, fun things from this box. I think it's really cool. All right, and then she does have a little card here that tells me all about the scent of the month, which is called Back Roads. Let me just pull some of this <laughs> shred off of here. So I love this idea, it's such a great idea. All right, so we do have a little reusable bag here that also helped give it some cushion and protection in transit. This is a captivating blend of rich, alluring amber and earthy oak moss with hints of sage, musk, and lavender. Discover the refreshing calmness that awaits you on the road less traveled. So this is quite the departure from last month's, which was a lot sweeter and I think was inspired by, um, it was inspired by county fairs. So I do think that you have to subscribe by the 15th, I believe, or maybe it's the end of the month. Let me just double check. Do I remember? I don't remember, but I will tell you later on. So I think you might be too late to get the next month's box, but you could definitely subscribe for the following. So let's see, this is limited edition is what it says. <laughs> I was like, wow, I cannot read that font. <laughs> Let me go ahead and give it a sniff. Ooh, that's, see, that's definitely more of a fragrance profile that I'm in. So like, I can't do the super sweet scents. They just tend to give me a little bit of a headache, but this, I can smell all of the notes that she talked about. I can smell the earthy oak moss. There's definitely some amber in there, which gives it that like a little bit more heady, a little bit more um, fall vibes, right? This is a good like transition into fall scent but it's not too overdone. And the lavender, I know some of you are not lavender fans. I'm not, honestly not smelling the lavender in there. Um, so that was a great one. Then we got a surprise item, which is fun. I always think these are fun. Oh, this is cute. So I've gotten these in a couple other boxes before, but you know, this is just like a little bonus. It's a macrame keychain. So we've got it in this pretty teal color. You give it a little combing down there. And it actually clips on. So if you want to use it as a little bag charm, you definitely can. This macrame keychain is a cute addition to any set of keys, backpack, or purse. Soft, colorful, and perfect to take along on the back road. So totally makes sense that for this um, this theme, the road less traveled, we got a keychain to go along with. I'm actually about to embark on a road trip with my parents and my husband, which should be 
be interesting. You can always follow me over on Instagram, see if I'm still alive. But uh, I would love to have you follow my Instagram that goes for this channel where I do some product photography, but also definitely over on my personal account too, which I'll leave link for you that, down there too. So I do have a code for you for Country Wix. It is Noel15 and that will save you 15%, which is a pretty darn good deal. All right, you guys, let's move on to our next one, which is going to be a jewelry subscription. It is Mint Mongoose. So this is pretty good deal as well. It is just $29.99. That does include the shipping for two beautiful pieces of jewelry. You let her know when you first sign up if you prefer not to have earrings and they'll do something else for you. But I do have a great code for this one. It is going to be Noel50, and that will save you 50% on your first set. So you'll be getting your first set for basically $15. Um, she always provides us with a lengthy description of her inspiration. By the way, you can also choose between gold, rose gold, or silver finishes. I usually go with the gold, but a lot of the times when she does the spoilers over on their Instagram account, sometimes I think it looks better with a certain color, and sometimes you could, you could easily switch if you wanted to. You could definitely reach out to their customer support. So um, this time around, this is beautiful. So we've got this nice image. I don't know if that's mint or it just kind of looks like mint because it's young. Maybe basil. Looks like basil. So it says, give yourself grace through the process. Our inspiration behind this set. And it comes in this little envelope. And then that comes in a in a mailer bag. And then there's a couple fun things about this subscription. So here is our jewelry. And then you just probably heard the treat fall out because they always include a little Werther's original, which I just think is a really sweet touch. Now, I wanna tell you before I read the description of this and show you all of the jewelry pieces, I'll just be kind of opening it. I did do a little story over on my Instagram. And again, my Instagram for this channel is Maui underscore Noel. And because <laughs> It is because I grew up on Maui and lived there for several years as an adult as well. I just dropped the jewelry on the ground. Um, but I did do a little uh, call for assistance from sub box owners that happened to follow that account because a lot of you were kind enough to reach out after the fires on Maui. It is going to be a long process, but I was looking for donations to create quick care packages with self care items for the women of Maui who have many of whom have lost absolutely everything. So for the most part, they're definitely getting all of their essentials. Um, but you know, sometimes just a little luxury, like a nice hand cream or a really good shampoo or a beautiful flea scented soap can just give someone a little bit more of a sense of ownership and a sense of be having that extra bit of comfort and luxury. So I did put that out there. I didn't want to uh, take away from the monetary donations that people are making or make anyone feel like they needed to. I knew that my viewers, subscribers would want to help in any way if the box owners needed any help. But I did hear back from two different boxes who wanted to help one is Authentic Books, and I'll talk about that more later in a different affiliated video, but they are going to send some great self-care items, which I'm very excited about because they do have those regularly in their boxes. But also Helena of Mint Mongoose reached out and she was so sweet, so kind. She was like, you know, I know that jewelry isn't necessarily something that they would need, but maybe it would just brighten someone's day. And she actually sent 50 sets, five zero, 50 sets of jewelry to the women of Maui. And I actually just sent it to a friend of mine who will make sure that it gets out to them, um, possibly hopefully being distributed in the shelters, just because so many of them have lost, you know, heirlooms and like really important things. And I know that that's not an essential thing, but just having a, new set of jewelry, a necklace and some earrings to make you feel a little bit more put together, I just think is probably going to be a well received and beautiful and much appreciated thing. So thank you so much to Helena. I think that is so sweet and so amazing. Thank you to all the viewers here as well who have reached out and asked how you can help. Um, but let's actually have a secret password in honor of that. Um, I would use the Hawaiian word for help, which is kokua, but I feel like mahalo might be something that's a little easier for a lot of you to remember. So today's secret password is mahalo. So when you find a secret password in my videos, you want to enter it along with your contact information in the Google form linked for you in the description box below. Please don't put it in the comments. I have to delete those. You have to be 18 years or older. You have to have a US or Canadian mailing address and you do have to be subscribed to my channel. It doesn't have to be publicly. 
And then about five days into the following month, I'll use a random number picker to select a few winners to receive a mystery box as my way of saying thank you for watching my videos. So today, in honor of the help that has been extended to me and the women of Maui, it is going to be Mahalo, M-A-H-A-L-O. Um, so again, thank you to Helena. And don't you worry, you guys, all of the self-care items that I would normally be putting into those mystery boxes, I am creating some care packages to send on to Maui, but I do still have plenty of other products that I want to share with you awesome subscribers. So I have opened it up. Here we go. So we have two beautiful pieces. It says, as many of you may know, if you follow my weekly email, uh, so Friday email newsletter, so it says, this year is my family's first real attempt at a garden. Many of you don't know, however, that a few months ago, I killed everything but the corn with a bright idea of a DIY greenhouse by turning the clear bins we had used during our cross-country move upside down on our seedlings and baby plants. So each of them comes individually wrapped, which is great, with a little bit of bubble wrap, so everything's protected in transit. Well, they got roasted. Total goners. <laughs> yeah, that's what's going to help. They just basically cooked. They boiled in there. It says the corn only survived because it excluded was excluded from the fun. I was pretty bummed. We'd put a lot of time and energy into those plant babies and in the span of one hot day, all gone. So yes, that is definitely something that can happen. Within a few hours, my husband surprised me with eight new plants from the nearest hardware store, because we live rurally. I was so excited, I planted them immediately. Every evening, the kids, hubby, and I water them, pull the weeds, and replant the pepper plant uh, when the mystery raccoons, goats, deer, and farm cats rip it out of the ground. Now the plants are very large, lush, green, and some are even flowering. Who knows, we may even get a few veggies out of them. Hopefully, I hope that they um, come back for you says, if we'd quit after the first failure or allowed it to turn the experience into a negative, we wouldn't have had our evening routine, the time together, the beautiful overflowing plants we do now, and the kids would have seen an example of starting something and not finishing it. With a little encouragement from my husband, we were able to persevere, and the setback has become a beautiful pivoting point in the learning process. The set was designed to be a reminder of all the stumbles, mistakes, and hard lessons that will happen in life. Together, of these strength Together, all of these strength testing moments make up the beauty of life. So when you wear this set, I hope it inspires you to look at each of these instances as steps closer to your destination rather than further from it. You've got this, friend. All right, so that is lovely. So yes, um, it's good to not give up. Set a good example. This is a really pretty necklace. I adore this. So it's not like it has a center piece to it necessarily. Uh, I guess it could but you can see that the intermittent beads on there, they're not like evenly spaced and I kind of love it being that way. So let me just see if I can hold it up a little bit closer. So some of them are um, uh, spaced by some bigger loops. Then you can see like, for example, there's three beads right here. Um, it does have an extender chain, like quite a bit, so you can make it longer, but what a great layering piece with these little turquoise beads. So I think that's really pretty. So we have three, four of them that are individual. Then we have these two right here paired together and then these three right here. So that's really just a kind of a different set for Mint Mongoose instead of just a chain with a pendant. Um, and I kind of love it as these like trials and tribulations, almost like a intermittent rosary bead. So, you know, you tried first, you had to start over. That didn't last as long. You had a little more success here. And then, you know, stops and starts that could happen along the way. Uh, but then of course it is a circle and so you just keep going so I love the metaphor that's in uh, kind of worked in there and then let's see what our matching earrings are so these are a lot these are kind of traditionally uh, mint mongoose style very very dainty you can see that the actual beads there on the end are almost longer than the j-hook that it will be the backing they do include the little rubber stoppers so just two little beads but that actually would be really cute and that's a case where i would wear the earrings maybe with the necklace because i think it's a nice little accent uh nice little carryover so cute little earrings to go with a really pretty uh, chain from Mint Mongoose that is adjustable in length. So I love that and I love that inspiration. And again, I really appreciate her generosity. All right, you guys, we have one more box to go today and it is from Anchor of Hope, speaking of offering help, offering Kokua uh, and uh, trying to make the world a better place. This box works with uh, 
survivors of human trafficking and those who are in sort of vulnerable states as well as refugees uh, to find items to put in this box. It is $36 per month plus $6 in shipping. There is still a deal where you can get three months for $99 plus the $18 in shipping. I do have a code for you. It's Noel 10 that will save you 10% in the shop but also on the box. They always include this card that tells you a little bit more about their mission and what they do. They usually have at least one item that is created by the Anchor of Hope box artists and then they also work with different organizations across the world uh, so the items will come from all over the place and they have some beautiful items in the box as well as in their shop and then they always have a sheet that tells us about the actual three items that will be in the box so this is definitely a box with a cause so this is what it looks like I didn't show you the box did I but it's very pretty they do a really nice job with it let me go ahead and open this up. So this is pretty cute, you guys. I'm excited. I always love a bowl. This is actually, they're calling it the guac or whatever dip you prefer bowl. So that's definitely for me as someone who does not like avocado or guacamole. So there's gonna be some variation in this one. It is handmade in Mexico, just a nice ceramic salsa or guacamole bowl. In a remote area of Mexico, up in the mountains, artisans harvest clay and then mix using shovels with their feet. After making these beautiful bowls, they go into a wood-fired homemade kiln and are finished with a lovely hand-painted design. Your purchase enables pottery artisans of Vibella or Vibella to preserve traditional artisan skills, provide for their families, and build a bright future for their family families serve your favorite dips and don't forget to hand wash to help this bowl last a lifetime so it is food safe it's got this beautiful like kind of ochre glaze in there three little feet on the bottom but what a great little dipping bowl um, size and shape and so Vibella or Vibella is a company that gets artisans from around the world so and then to go in that, I love that, they didn't include the guac. Instead, they include a spinach dip mix that was handmade in the USA. It says the perfect easy dip to put out the next time you host. Don't forget to tell your guests how your dip mix was crafted by the women in the Soup of Success program. They have a 20 week training and mentorship program to help women in the US who are overcoming hard circumstances. During their program, they learn job skills, receive resume and career guidance, crisis intervention, job shadowing and more so i love that so you just mix it together with a cup of sour cream and a cup of mayonnaise i know that's a lot um and a package of frozen chopped spinach which has been drained and then you put in this like basically with this herb mix i would probably do mostly sour cream instead of all the mayonnaise personally but um i bet it's delicious and it probably makes a fantastic dip so i think that's kind of a cute pairing that they did for this box and then they did include a card that tells you a little bit more about Soup for Success, which is a, again, job and life skills training program that empowers women to overcome obstacles to being self-sufficient. That is really cool. Knowing that the way out of poverty isn't a straight line and challenges are certain to arise, we continue to offer through one-on-one -on -one meetings and graduate reunions so they can be successful in reaching their goals. That's pretty cool. All right. Then our final item is this loom woven tapestry. I love this. This is from Hands Producing Hope, which also has its own subscription box, um, and they work hand in hand with Anchor of Hope box. So this was handmade in Costa Rica. So it does have a nice hanging uh, rope here. It's a nice twisted rope, not just a piece of string. It just needs a little maybe steaming, but I love the colors in there. So I'll hold that up close while I read to you. Your woven tapestry is crafted in Southern Costa Rica by Rebecca and her family of artisans using ancient indigenous techniques that have been passed down for thousands of years. Using a backstop loom, your tapestry is made with patience and precision. Even the dowel rod holding your tapestry was hand carved. Your purchase enables hand producing hope to provide fair wage work, micro loans, and more to Rebecca and other indigenous artisans in their programs. So I love that. So it even, you can see it's a hands producing hope um, tag, and then it even has Rebecca's name on there. So they're traditional Boruca techniques. That's really cool. I love that like kind of personal story behind the items. Um, it's actually really soft. I think this would look really cool 
on a wall if you have like a travel wall like I do. I have a lot of photography and art pieces that I've collected in my travels. I have been to Costa Rica so I feel like this one counts. Um, it could look good on if you have a basket or a plate wall just to add some textiles or if you have like one of those really small walls like in a doorway that just feels like it could need a little embellishment but you're not sure what to put there because it's kind of an awkward size. I think this could be really cool and what a great little uh, talking point to talk about where it came from from. So nice items in this box. We got our spinach dip mix to go with this beautiful bowl from Mexico. And then this is our woven tapestry from Costa Rica. Let me know in the comments below what you guys thought about these boxes. Again, we had country wicks with our amazing candle and our little macrame keychain today. We had our beautiful turquoise bead set from Mint Mongoose. And of course, we had these three lovely items from Anchor of Hope box. I thought they were all fantastic, all a little bit different, but I would love to hear your thoughts on all of them or any of them. I would truly appreciate your support with a thumbs up and or a comment. And again, there was a secret password in this video, so if you missed it, make sure you go back and watch the video in its entirety so you could enter to win a mystery box from yours truly. Thank you again, and I will see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing. And don't forget, secret password, it was back there. <laughs>